Did you know that all of us have two brains? A lizard brain and a human brain. And today, we are going to tell you how to use them both effectively. Okay, so I am going to uh, show you an image on the screen. Hmm. Uh, just for one second, take hmm. a look, okay? Yeah. Okay. All right. What can you tell me about uh, this image? Yeah. So there was a woman, she had her mouth open. She hmm. looked like she was either angry hmm. or going to shout at someone. Yeah. Probably had some sort of an issue with her husband and she was trying to tell him yeah. not to cook uh, eggs with too much salt because the kids don't eat. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, okay. that's my wife. Yeah. Um, all right. Um, now let's look at the next one. Ha. Okay. What can you tell me about this? Uh, can you give me some time? <laughs> I'm not yeah. really good at speed math and I... I'm, but ha. if I were to give you a piece of pen and paper... That was a multiplication, obviously. Yes. If I were to give you a piece of pen and paper, huh. you would be able to do that of multiplication. Course I'll yeah, yeah. Yeah. It would take you a little uh, few seconds, a minute maybe, right? Yeah. That were your two different brains, right? The brain which can work with a piece of paper hmm. and do that complex uh, calculation, hmm. that is your human brain. Okay. That has evolved only recently. Okay. Whereas the brain, the part of your brain, which in a sub-second hmm. was able to tell you so many things about the face of that woman just uh, from just one image, huh. right? That part of your brain we have gotten from the dinosaurs, ah. okay? So this is like the innermost layer of our brain. Huh. Um, I mean, that's why lizard brain and that's why human brain. Correct, huh. yeah. That makes uh, sense. Uh, in the literature, this is typically referred to as system one, which is the lizard brain, hmm. and system two, which came later, which is the human brain. Right. Ah, so so hmm. you okay. would have heard terms like prefrontal uh, cortex and so on. So our I have things, heard them, but they don't make any yes. sense to me. Uh, the things that make us human, right? Ability to do language, uh, ability to form complex social structures, all of that hmm. comes from our human brain, right? Thinking uh, brain, hmm. but a lot of uh, things that are needed in day-to-day -day life, mm. like emotions, mm. like instincts, mm. uh, that comes from the lizard brain, system okay. one. Okay. okay. So, so yeah. what decides when system brain, uh, system one brain or the lizard brain uh, is in control and uh, when system two or the human thinking brain is in control? Yeah. So to understand that, I mm. think I need to explain one uh, thing to you, mm. which is that System one hmm. is very fast. Hmm. It is automatic. You don't even have to think about it. It all happened automatically if you remember, right? Yeah, I basically and looked at the woman and yeah. decided that uh, she was yelling at yeah. her husband. And system one is continuously uh, going on. Hmm. Uh, it is the one that deals with emotions. Hmm. It is the one also that understands stereotypes. Hmm. Okay. So when you yeah. see a shady looking person, hmm. the fact that you have already decided that person is shady, that has come from... Your lizard brain, lizard brain. Uh, and you are not really in control of it. It's your unconscious. Okay. Right? Whereas system two hmm. is very slow. You have to take extra effort to actually start using system two, right? Multiplication doesn't happen automatically. Especially 17 by 24. Yeah. I remember the numbers. I don't yeah. remember the result. I don't even know the result. Also, yeah. most of the time you don't use your system two. You think you are like a thinking person, but you are not really, right? Um, all the logic, the calculations hmm. uh, are uh, from your thinking brain. Okay. And all your conscious thought hmm. comes from there. Now, okay. you are under the uh, misconception uh, hmm. that most of your brain is this thinking brain. But in reality, most of it is system one. Okay. The thing is, system one huh. takes 0.1 second to respond to anything. If I do this, you reacted. I did. In less than... Very slowly, but yeah. that's because I'm not... <laughs> okay, yeah, I okay. felt that. I, I had my eyes closed. <laughs> it was a like genuine if, attempt. If so. there was a normal person, they would have reacted much faster. Or if they had and their point, eyes open, they would have reacted yes. much faster. So, 0.1 seconds, huh. system 1 uh, uh, takes, that's all. Whereas system 2, the thinking brain does not even get started for 0.7 seconds. Okay. 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 Which means that any situation you are in, uh, immediately system one uh, first takes a look at it, right? System okay. one decides, hmm. then system one uh, will usually just react. 
ओके इन मोस्ट सिचुएशन वंस इन वाइल सिस्टम वन विल से यू नो वॉट दिस इज नॉट माई थिंग ओके फॉर एग्जाम्पल वेन यू सॉ दैट मल्टीप्लीकेशन सिस्टम वन यू नो वेन वी वेन आवर ब्रेन इवॉल्व इन द सवान आज वेन वी आर हंटिंग डियर एंड रनिंग एनिमल्स वुल्स मल्टीप्लीकेशन वॉज नॉट अ थिंग राइट सो सिस्टम वन इज आई डोंट नो गिव इट ओवर टू सिस्टम टू ओके सो usually well, that's what is happening mm-hmm. system 1 uh, comes on first mm-hmm. takes a look might just handle the situation itself okay once in a while it might decide to send it upstairs to system 2 and then system 2 which 0.7 seconds later is going to wake up that one decides okay fine let me do something about it okay right? couple of things here this seems like uh, it could run into problems it mm-hmm. seems like uh, uh, you can't always trust system 1 or uh, when because i'm trying to think if system 1 drives most of our day to day behavior mm-hmm. when should we trust system 1 and when should we not yeah so um uh first of all hmm. i think uh, it is important to note that it is best when they work together of, right? course, of uh, course as a team hmm. so i want to give you an example of that hmm. okay suppose you were uh, not an example an analogy okay suppose you wanted to go across town hmm. at a, a high traffic time okay okay and you have two people one is an experienced old time uh, driver who can drive very well who can weave through traffic very well hmm. uh and there is a non driver who knows how to use google maps well right okay the best way to get get across town hmm. is for the google maps person to decide which route is the best and then the driver to weave through the traffic and drive fast hmm right yeah yeah if either of them by themselves hmm. wouldn't do as good a job hmm. right so the driver is your lizard brain and oh. the google maps person is your thinking brain yeah okay makes sense makes sense yeah. so uh, basically it always helps when you mm-hmm. manage to get both system 1 and system 2 the lizard brain and the human brain yeah. working in tandem in collaboration with each other one handing over uh, tasks to the other yeah. that uh, the other can do with ease so to speak correct yeah well that's why it's always system 1 who takes the first look mm-hmm. and hands over the uh, complex tasks to system uh, system 2 right? okay but that doesn't always work acha so let me give you an example right huh. uh, this uh, many of uh, you might know this uh, but suppose hmm. i told you hmm. that a bat and a ball together they cost 110 rupees huh. but the bat is 100 rupees more than the ball so quickly how much did the ball cost 10 bucks right most people answer that especially if you don't give them time to think correct right? that's but that's, reality yeah. if the ball is 10 bucks and the bat is 100 more then bat is 110 and the total would be 120 so that's the wrong answer correct right wrong it's 5 and 105 correct what happened here hmm. was that system 1 thought this was an easy enough problem and answered it on its own especially because i said quickly yes okay the quickly did throw me off because yes. i was actually <laughs> trying to set up the equation you know uh, the whatever it is called yeah, yeah. but uh, of course um you know you're not going to be asked such problems uh, i hope not <laughs> but this kind of uh, an error ha. happens very often where system 1 hmm. just decides it knows how to handle a situation whereas it probably didn't that's where all our biases come from all our blind spots comes from and you must have heard right mm. that uh, humans are not really rational they take all kinds of bad decisions especially when probabilities are involved yeah. all of that comes from system 1 being overconfident right ah all right yeah yeah i can sense a lot of situations in my life where my system one thinking system one brain caused me to take a lot of decisions that let's just say i should not have taken yeah. but uh, it it basically now sounds to me like uh, letting system one take charge of your life is a very bad idea are you saying that navin not really okay okay uh, one thing you have to understand ha huh. is that system one is really good at the things it does well okay okay uh, that woman i showed you for a fraction of a second mm-hmm. what color was her hair black right uh, was she like say indian no she seemed middle eastern so many things you picked up right 
uh, I could probably ask you five more questions and you would answer them all correctly, right? There are so many things system one in point one second it is doing. Hmm. System one is good at things involving other humans, hmm. uh, their their expressions, their emotions. Hmm. It is also good at things like this, right? Yeah. Moving things because on the savanna when the wolves were attacking it you, it terrifies me when it tries <laughs> to punch me. Of course, I'm going to flinch. <laughs> so. You know, when a wolf is coming at you, yeah. so sizes of things, things coming at you, hmm. uh, all of these are things that uh, System 1 is very good at. Okay. In fact, uh, let me give you one more example here. Okay, hmm. um, Here, do hmm. uh, you see this um, road traffic? Hmm. Right? Suppose you are standing here. Okay. Okay. I look and very I, red. And I ask you that yeah. you have to quickly cross the road. Do you think you would be able to make it? Yeah, there is no, there is nothing in front of the maroon car yeah. and the bikes are all looking the other way. There is one bike coming this way, but far away I'll be past. What the, about yeah. the white car? Yeah, too far away okay. and on the wrong side, but yeah. I will probably be either in the yeah. middle or past. Yeah, uh, you gave me a complex explanation of why you would be able to cross, huh. right? Did you think of all of that before saying yes? No, I thought of that <coughs> while trying to explain why I said yes. Correct. So the decision that you can cross hmm. happened in 0.1 second. Uh, okay. Yeah. Think of what all system one did in that 0.1 second, right? It recognized all these things, the cars, the people, the yeah. two wheelers. It recognized that these two wheelers are pointing in the wrong direction. It recognized that car. It knew your speed, what speed you can cross at. It knew the speed of the white car. It knew that these two cars were stationary, wow. right? Imagine how many calculations were going on and now compare that to the 17 into 24 that I asked at the beginning. Yeah, that is actually much less in terms of calculation than all of this that I just did. So, yeah, it makes sense. Right. System 1 did uh, take charge immediately and give me a result that was okay. useful. Conversely, mm. okay. If Converse, you, okay. If you had to use system 2 to cross the road, you would be dead. Because in 0 0.7 seconds, you're thinking, okay, what am I going to do? No, I'd be standing right there and not moving at all. If I were using system 2, I'd be like, huh, actually, 17 yeah, that's into 24. Actually, you're right. Very likely, you would just be immobile. You would not be able to do anything in your life. Because, yeah. <laughs> you know, system 2 is just too slow for day-to-day uh, -day things. Right? Okay. Uh, okay. So, uh, yeah, I mean, basically, you need to know what system one and system two are good at right so let me see if i have some um so is there like a is there like a guideline as to when <laughs> system one and when i should use system one and when i should use system two because it hmm. seems like most of the time my human brain and my lizard brain know exactly when to kick in yeah but it also seems like at there are points where i should force one or the other to kick in yeah so I will give you two examples, I mean, hmm. in each direction, right? Hmm. Uh, situations where system one kicks in when it shouldn't hmm. and uh, situations where, where system two kicks in where it should not kicks in, but you're using system two, you're being forced to use system two because system one threw up its hands. Right? All right, let's go with we the first one. Where does system one kick in where it shouldn't? No, but before that, let me make sure you understand what is system one good at and what is system two good at, right? Okay. So system one is good at distances. Estimating them. Uh, and you know, suddenly if a sound comes, where did it come from? looking at images, right? Anything visual uh, and uh, muscle memory, something we call muscle memory. Like so yeah. basics of driving hmm. is all system one. I mean, you don't need to think while you're driving, right? You're, you're, you're talking to somebody there and you're listening to a podcast and so on, right? I wish more people did think while yeah. driving though. Here is an interesting one. Huh. Two plus two. Four. That was system one and it did a calculation. Yes. So we have to think of how that happened, right? And even simple answer, bread and butter, right? So again, that happened automatically. Again, system one. Yes. Earlier, I lied. I said calculations and language is system two. But, but, but system two plus two, I've done so many times that it is in <laughs> four. As in, I don't have to calculate two plus two. It's just, I know it. Absolutely. 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 That is important. We will come back to that later. Okay. okay. In fact, that is one of the important takeaways of uh, this episode okay what system 2 is good at most important is paying attention where to pay attention 
system two decides that okay so uh, you know in a crowd if you have to pick out uh, your friend that's uh, system two or if i tell you while watching the basketball game count the number of passes okay so that counting hmm. you are going to use uh, system two attention there so wherever deliberate measurement or attention or yes. focus is required system two kicks in especially if it is a kind of activity that hmm. wouldn't happen in the african savanna 100000 years going ago. back to the african savanna i've never everything been there everything in our life goes back to the african savanna yes we okay. our hardware was created in the african savanna we are like making minor updates to the software for the last 100000 years okay <laughs> so <laughs> all right but uh, uh, just let's go through a few more examples right ha. when you hear a sound ha. what was that sound of ha. right that takes system to if you are walking faster than normal hmm. and you want to sustain that pace that takes system to thinking so regular walking you can have conversations without thinking about it but fast walking you have to focus on your walking and your conversation slows down right sounds to me like this is going into the territory of mindfulness i don't know it's a yes. very far fetched thing but no no absolutely true mindfulness is trying to reduce system one actions and making sure that everything that is happening What system 2 should be paying attention to right ah uh, all right so mindfulness is basically bringing in system 2 where you are normally accustomed to let system 1 or your right. lizard brain uh, do its thing correct okay. because system 1 does things and you don't even realize it has done it hmm. mindfulness makes you realize what you have done okay, okay. so uh, tell me something what yeah. are um, the weirdest places in which hmm. you see like a reversal of these two systems yeah um uh, but before that just so we understand right i want to give some real life complex examples of system 1 working very well okay, okay? uh if there are any women in the audience you know that there are some men you just have a feeling about and then you start avoiding them right huh? not me i hope so but i mean this is true you ask any woman yeah she has a feel right and there are some men uh, she'll feel safe around right yeah if you ask them to explain why they feel like that they will not be able to explain okay right because hmm. that decision was made by system 1 an example so system 1 system 2 uh, there is a book called thinking fast and slow by daniel kahneman okay uh, nobel prize winner in mm. psychology uh, in that he has given a lovely example there was an actual fire and a team of firefighters went in mm. and the team leader the most experienced firefighter right they were in a kitchen and uh, they were controlling the fire there and suddenly he said you know what we need to get out of here and they all got out of here and a few seconds later the roof collapsed oh at that time he wasn't able to explain why he felt we need to get out but his probably his brain picked up on signals that yes. he had uh, experienced on, over his career yeah later on he was able to explain that the fire had become awfully quiet but at the same time his ears were hotter than normal and things like that ah. but all those were after the fact right hmm. so this is the kind but of stuff but before that yeah uh, the book you said was thinking fast and slow by daniel kahneman we'll put that in the description for yeah. uh, you to check it out so uh, let's talk about how this can be a problem right hmm. where the systems uh, mess up so uh, one is that you see a car ad hmm. okay and there is a beautiful woman in there uh, right the voice over is talking about the features of the car the mileage it gives and how it is very affordable and things like that mm -hmm. right yeah what is happening do you think here uh the voice over is basically appealing to my uh, system to brain exactly trying to tell me to consider the car on purely practical and pragmatic grounds correct and i am listening to it hopefully and you know when you decide to buy that car how did that decision happen you are convinced that it was because of the mileage and the price and all of that of course i am convinced right but not necessarily in the example of a car because you spend way too much time thinking about it but in a lot of advertising works by appealing to your system 1 right the yes. visual things which go directly into system 1 without going to your system 2 right yeah. 
दे हेल्प योर सिस्टम वन मेक द डिसीजन और आई फाइन आई लाइक द वुमन इन द कार यस आई एग्री यू थिंक शी इज राइट नेक्स्ट टू द कार सो इफ आई वॉज इन द कार यस आई एग्री सो आई टाइम इट या बट आई मीन अ लॉट ऑफ एडवर्टाइजिंग इज दैट द एडवर्टाइजर्स आर ट्राइंग टू ट्रिक योर सिस्टम वन इन टू टेकिंग अ डिसीजन which goes against what your system to would uh, suggest some right? things just sell yeah <laughs> anybody in the advertising yeah. industry would tell you that yeah. it just sells um so i do want to talk about you know how does this help you yes please yeah so uh, i think first you should know when to trust system one okay yes. like the firefighters right hmm hmm second you should know that there are people out there trying to trick your system one okay okay this would be ad- all advertising this would be political leaders this would be con men this would be god men all of them are appealing to your system one without you realizing it right so keep that in mind pause hmm. i'm a little worried that we are using advertising and con men in the same sentence acha chalta hai i think it is fine we are going yeah. to be putting ads on the video navin Uh, advertisers don't care right they'll still sell because the <laughs> ticket system one uh, still works i'm not going to cut this part out <laughs> of course you're not going to cut this part out but hello uh, uh, let's at least don't make it blatant well see that is one of the important things to note that unless you're extra extra careful just knowing all of this doesn't change anything this decision still gets taken by system 1 okay, okay. so okay. you have to learn how to be that extra extra careful okay okay so um, the third thing i want you to know is that changing the behavior of system 1 is extremely difficult let me give a example of that hmm. okay um so when imagine okay there is like an important india pakistan match and there is a bowler who bowls an out swinger outside the off stump kohli goes after it nicks it gets caught 1 billion people groan and say why didn't he leave it he does this every time right yes by now huh? i'm sure kohli has also heard of this problem that he has of fishing outside the ostom yes right? why doesn't he do anything about it uh because fishing outside the ostom is handled by system 1 why when a fast bowler balls a ball hmm. right as from the time he releases it to the time it reaches the batter hmm. half a second yeah and system 2 takes how long 0.7 second system did you just reduce cricket to a system 1 versus system 2 problem i like, i am going to reduce it further and i will bring god into the picture okay so the thing is that uh kohli does not have time to think Kohli knows that he is not supposed to fish outside the off stump. Which Kohli? Yeah. Human Kohli. Hum, achha, the yeah. yeah? Hmm. Lizard, lizard brain. Remember, lizard Kohli sees some object moving fast towards. So We are going to get a lot of Virat fans <laughs> in the comments. How dare you call him lizard? Ah? <laughs> huh? But what he's trying to say is lizard brain versus thinking Correct. human brain. it's not like virat wasn't thinking but it's system one versus system right. two yes yeah, so but the, the important point i was trying to make is that with so much riding on it and the best people in the world helping him hmm. it's still difficult for him to make a change right system yeah. one changing system one takes a lot of effort uh. so two things i want you to remember related to that hmm. is one be kind to others right hmm. try to see if you see somebody Make if you see Virat, same. if you see Virat fishing outside the off stump, yeah, be kind to no, him. No, no, I'm now talking about your coworker who does that same stupid mistake every time, right? Ask yourself, is that a system one error? In that case, be kind, right? Second, is that instead of coworker, think of yourself. There's a whole bunch of mistakes you make over and over and over again. Be kind to yourself, right? This is, for example, habits. Okay, you know you have to go on a diet, right? System two knows. all the rules of what you are allowed to eat what you are not allowed to eat and why mm. but who makes the decision of what to eat system 1 right so be kind to yourself yes right so basically i can now blame all of my diet mistakes on system 1 ha huh. i will mm, do no. that no no so what where i am coming from is that there are ways to teach system 1 
and you need to learn those right and where can i learn those so for example uh, uh, atomic habits by james clear is a book uh, all about uh, how to uh, kill bad habits and start good habits okay and so basically it, how to overcome your deep rooted system 1 and mm. replace it with conscious system 2 behavior no. and then make that system no 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 no, no 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 you can't replace you can't have system 2 doing anything like this right system 2 is too slow okay. what you have to do is you have to replace one system 1 behavior with a different system 1 behavior okay. so all of this is explained in that book techniques are there so atomic I, habits by james clear look I at the description but you hit up on just one of the examples there which is you can't just get rid of a habit you have to replace a habit with a different habit okay so that's an example and i think we uh, have talked about atomic habits in another episode mm-hmm. so go check that one out we'll put it yeah. somewhere yeah here yeah so uh, the fourth most important thing i want to get at right mm-hmm. is forget habits right in general uh, think about expertise mm-hmm. okay uh, so Kohli, we said the bad thing about Kohli is fishing outside the off stump, mm. but all the good things also, all the amazing shots, mm. all of those are because of system one. Do you think he was born with that because in the savanna somehow using a bat was useful? No. Again with the savanna. No, right? Yeah. What happened uh, was that he spent hundreds of hours doing the same thing again and again and again. until that system 2 thinking became system 1 what is it what is that thing about you, know, you need 10000 hours to yes. become an expert 10000 hours of deliberate practice right huh. any expertise ha huh. requires system 1 thinking okay so let me take a simple example okay hmm. when you learn driving hmm. okay some of you might not have uh, learned driving uh, think about bicycling okay hmm. when you start your system 2 is doing everything right oh i should turn like this this is what i should do i should try to press the brake and what happens is that you mess up Badly. why why do you mess up very bad why because i'm trying to do everything at once i i don't know where the clutch is where the gear is where the, the steering is where the window is where the person is there are two How problems there are people no there are two problems here one huh? is that system 2 has a very limited capacity it can do just a one or two things at a time you increase the number of things and it drops uh, a the bunch of them thing. on the floor second remember system 2 takes 0.7 seconds to react to anything and on a bicycle 0.7 seconds to for your balance you're fallen already yes right so how do you actually learn what you do is you repeatedly do the same thing over and over again until it becomes system 1 right today if you are on a bicycle or in a car you don't even realize what is happening right yeah. you're driving without thinking about it you're talking to people you don't even know when you weaved through traffic right yeah the talking to people part i don't like and i hate people who do that so hmm. so like this all expertise i mean basic expertise in say you know 10 standard maths hmm. two god like expertise sachin tendulkar's batting hmm. comes from pushing system 2 patterns down to system 1 if you ask sachin tendulkar's coach points out one of the reasons he is god hmm. is because he used to spend an insane amount of time in the nets that's true that's same true. thing but no you know you are not sachin tendulkar how is this info useful to you everything you do right the reason why you have multiplication tables in school is because higher level maths which require system 2 cannot be done unless multiplication is in system 1 the reason why you have rote learning in school is because until the basics are stuffed in system 1 you can't do more complex thinking okay wait a second oh that is the sound of parents coming in the comments and saying thank you to navin i hear you you're welcome yes so um, and uh, 10000 hours right yeah to become an expert hmm. world level expert you have to put enough things into system 1 and that takes that much time one important concept there is that you need deliberate practice which is that you know you are practicing x hmm. once that has become automatic hmm. then you need to practice the next level okay when that becomes automatic then you practice the next level so you have to in- keep increasing your level hmm. also 
somewhere you can't practice the wrong thing hmm. in tennis if you practice the wrong kind of serve and once it goes into system 1 you are never going to fix your serve right ah. so two things needed are somebody else needs to keep telling you are you doing the right things and you have to keep increasing your uh, level okay. which is why ramakant achrekar was as important as sachin spending time in the nets yes this was all of our wives saying that's why i am important <laughs> yes <laughs> yes yes uh, one important phrase i want to leave you with right mm. is that all of this deliberate practice mm. should be at the time of practice okay when you are on the field or whenever you are doing the thing in reality let system 1 take over let system 1 take over right okay practice analytically perform instinctively right wonderful wonderful right. mantra for everybody yeah. practice analytically perform instinctively instinctively if if you want roger federer to mess up a service what you have to do is you have to ask him while you are serving are you breathing in or breathing out and then he starts thinking of that he's going to mess up because suddenly now he's serving using system 2 instead of system 1 now right? all i have to do is find roger federer and <laughs> challenge him to a match so that i can win a point by forcing him to use system 2 instead of system 1 by asking this question thank you so much yes. uh, roger call me <laughs> so yeah that's that's the basic idea Yeah. All right. So, uh, books or articles or places on the web where people can learn more about System One, System Two. One you've already said is uh, Atomic Habits by James Clear. Is there yeah. anything else? No, the main one is, of course, Thinking Fast and Slow by Kahneman, which That's we already uh, yes. mentioned. Blink by Malcolm Gladwell. Is Isn't that where he said the ten thousand hours thing, or was it another? No, that was a different book. Okay. But uh, Blink is also important. So, for example, he's. got a lot of examples hmm. where in a blink of an eye a decision happens which Hence obviously he is talking about system 1 system 1 of right. course yeah and uh, we'll put all of these resources in the description of this video so do check them out and yeah. uh, do uh, read them any questions of course you can always shoot them to us so before we go ah! i want to just give a fun example okay the one of the funniest places where uh, i've seen the system 1 2 thing play out okay, okay. Uh, so there is a video you can find it on youtube we'll put a link here hmm. okay psychologists created this video and they showed it to people and the people were told there is a basketball game that is being shown and in that you have to there, there are half the one team is in white one team is in black you have to count how many times the people in white passed the basketball when people watch it and they count the number of passes and at the end you ask them how many passes they say yes they give the correct answer hmm. then they ask them did you notice a Hold man ha huh. if you are actually going to uh, be a part of this experiment then i would recommend that you pause the video here go check that video out follow the number of passes between the people count them the video then... has instructions so huh. just follow okay. the instructions this follow the instructions and then the come video. back after you're done the whole thing we'll put the link in the description again uh, go follow the video and when you're done with that video come back yeah. and this is what navin is going to tell you then they ask them did you notice a man in a gorilla suit walk past the screen and the surprising answer is that a very large fraction of people do not notice an entire gorilla guy walking yeah. across the screen yeah why if you remember i talked about system 2 counting the basketball passes requires system 2 noticing somebody like this also requires system 2 and your system 2 is not capable of handling both at the same time so when i watched the video for the first time this is what actually happened with me mm. i was counting the passes and then there was a sudden noise ah. and i happened to look at the noise and then looked back and i saw the gorilla pass by and i'm like wait what video am i watching and i couldn't make head or tail of it and when the answer was revealed at the end i realized oh i was only able to spot the gorilla because i happened to take my attention away from the video otherwise there was no chance i would have noticed the gorilla by the way also you are lying because you didn't take the attention away there was a noise and your system one took over i said noises is system yes. one yes so fine, fine. when a noise comes system one takes over your system two got paused 
so when you came back your system 2 was not engaged then it again engaged mm. so that's what happened so the overall uh, thing that i'm getting from this is that system 1 is uber powerful ultra powerful yeah. and it is in our advantage it's in our best interests hmm. to use that power to channel that power to uh, in in things that we do on a daily basis right yes. so um by the way it is possible that we spoiled the uh, gorilla example for you um so sorry about that but to make up for it we will also give you a link for the color changing card trick example okay do check you it out try that also in the description and uh, it is it's a very fun video so you'll enjoy it trust me yeah. i am shrikant this is navin and this was future iq